Hi, welcome to this fourth video of introduction to statistics. In the previous video, um, we've introduced what a statistic is. And so we got a clearer picture of why we collect data and what we're trying to do with the data. Now what we're going to see is the actual process of collecting the data. So there are several steps in the design and implementation of a study. First, uh, what we need to do is to make a background research and re literature review. Remember, uh, in our first video, we said that um, you know statistics is just data. Uh, you you still have to use your judgment. So. This is an important step because this gives you perspective on uh, you know, what data is useful, what is not, and what previous research has been done and how they were able to analyze the data and whether they could draw conclusions or not. So that's, that's one. Then um, probably the most important part, the most important step, is to define the goals and the specific hypothesis of the study. Um, you know, data can be really messy. Um, and when you're going to analyze a factor, um, it, it can become really hard to make a good analysis if you're trying to analyze everything. So what's important is to restrict the study to simple goals and to simplify the goals, you need to make hypothesis, right? You need to, to say, well, this I'm going to assume that it works that way. And I'm only going to look at this, this other factor. So that's two. Um, and then once you have the goals, right? So imagine the goal is, um, you know, uh, try to know how was the average height, you know, of the population to, to stay on our example of, of the third video. We want to analyze the average height of the population. Um, then you, you're going to be able to determine what variables, remember variable, a variable is the data you observe on every unit of the sample, should be measured, and how. You know, that, that's also important. Because, um, for example, if you look at the height, um, whether we're going to measure it in the morning or in the evening, it's going to make differences, right? Because during the day, we tend to lose a few centimeters. So that's the how. And then you're going to develop a plan to collect the data. So um, that's also a very important, important step, is how you design the sample. Um, we're going to see later that there are some errors that, that you can make when you do the study. And, and remember, we, we talked about uh, accuracy and precision. Well, uh, th there's, there's a saying in data that says that uh, crappy data in, crappy data out. Um, well, if you get crappy data from a crappy sample, then you're going to get a crappy statistic and a crappy study. So that's really important, the sampling design. Sample size is going to give you confidence on, you know, uh, on your statistics. So, of course, if you had the time and the resources, you would make the sample as big as the population itself. But then you wouldn't need statistics. So in reality, the population of the planet is 6 billion people, and you're going to be measuring the height of maybe 1,000 people. And you need to make sure that 1,000 is enough to be confident enough in your result that you can apply it to the, pop the worldwide population. Inclusions and exclusions is the people that, uh, the observation that you're going to exclude or that you're going to include so that's kind of you know the that links back to the hypothesis you're making 
you know, you're, you you think, well, I'm not going to observe this, but I'm going to observe that. Um, and once you know how you're going to collect the data, then you're not going to do it all by yourself. So you, you'll need help. Um, and so you're going to train personnel. And that's very important as well to train them because uh, if you don't get the same training and if you're not specific on how they're going to collect the data, then you will get biases in the data. And you're going to make conclusions that are wrong because imagine one of the personnel doesn't measure um, people the same way the, uh, of the rest of the personnel. Then you're going to, you're going to think, wow, there's a, there's a certain category of people who are actually taller or smaller. But in reality, that's just the guy who's measuring who made a mistake. Then you're going to gather the data. And then you're going to move to the fun part, where you're going to make a lot of calculations to analyze the data. And then you're going to report the results. And in reporting the results, this is where you're actually going to use your judgment. Right, because if you gather data and you make an average of the height of the population that's three meters, uh, you're going to probably think that you made a mistake or that you are studying basketball players. So, um, considerations, ethical issues for human subjects and for animal subjects. Where for human subjects, there are certain statistics that you're not sure you're going to uh, be able to collect um, because it's either linked to privacy issues or, um, or the question could be impolitically correct by itself. So, you know, you can have several ethical issues and for animal subjects, subjects as well. Um, some studies can be cruel by design. So, you know, you, you have to think of those issues when you're planning your study. And in the next uh, video, we're going to see the different kinds of statistical studies that one can, uh, one can lead. So stay tuned for the next video.